Today, we are going to discuss the Enlightenment. Before the Enlightenment, Europe was dominated by absolute monarchies and the Catholic Church, which controlled politics, education, and daily life. The Protestant Reformation and the Thirty Years' War challenged religious authority, but left the continent divided and war-torn. The scientific revolution of the 16th and 17th centuries then paved the way for Enlightenment ideas by promoting reason, observation, and questioning of traditional beliefs. The Enlightenment, also known as the Age of Reason, emerged in the late 17th and 18th centuries as a movement that emphasized reason, individual liberty, and skepticism of traditional authority, rationalism, the idea that reason should be the primary source of knowledge, became central to Enlightenment philosophy, challenging religious dogma and superstitions. The Enlightenment was shaped by several influential thinkers whose ideas transformed politics, society, and philosophy. John Locke, in his book, Two Treatises of Government, championed the idea of natural rights, life, liberty, and property, arguing that governments exist to protect these rights, and if they fail, citizens have the right to revolt. Voltaire fiercely defended freedom of speech, religious tolerance, and the separation of church and state, believing reason should triumph over superstition. Jean-Jacques Rousseau introduced the concept of the general will, asserting that governments should be based on the collective interests of the people rather than monarchs. Similarly, Baron de Montesquieu advocated for the separation of powers into executive, legislative, and judicial branches to prevent tyranny, a system that influenced modern democratic constitutions. In the realm of economics, Adam Smith promoted the idea of free markets and minimal government intervention, arguing that an invisible hand naturally regulates economies. Meanwhile, Denis Diderot sought to spread knowledge through the Encyclopédie and advocated for freedom of thought and expression, arguing that knowledge should be accessible to all rather than controlled by religious and political authorities. David Hume, known for his skepticism, argued that human knowledge is derived from experience rather than pure reason, while Immanuel Kant developed the idea of the categorical imperative, which posited that moral actions should be based on universal ethical principles. Thomas Hobbes wrote Leviathan, which states that humans in their original state of nature were unhappy and supported an absolute monarch. A man enters a social contract to surrender his freedom to an absolute ruler in order to maintain law and order. Lastly, Mary Wollstonecraft became a pioneering advocate for women's rights, arguing for equal education and opportunities in her work, a vindication of the rights of woman. The spread of Enlightenment ideas was greatly facilitated by the printing press, which allowed for the mass production of books, pamphlets, and newspapers. The increasing literacy rates and accessibility of printed materials allowed Enlightenment ideas to challenge traditional institutions and inspire political revolutions. Meanwhile, the scientific revolution, which preceded the Enlightenment, played a crucial role in shaping its intellectual landscape. It demonstrated the power of human reason and challenged the Church's control over intellectual discourse. Nicholas Copernicus proposed the heliocentric theory, challenging the long-held belief that the Earth was the center of the universe, thus encouraging skepticism toward traditional authority. Galileo Galilei further supported Copernicus's theory through telescopic observations, emphasizing the importance of empirical evidence and scientific reasoning over religious doctrine. Isaac Newton revolutionized physics with his laws of motion and universal gravitation, showing that the universe operates according to consistent, discoverable natural laws, reinforcing the Enlightenment's emphasis on reason. His book, Principia Mathematica, integrated the ideas of Copernicus, Kepler, and Galileo into one system of mathematical laws to explain the orderly manner in which the planets revolved around the sun or the law of universal gravitation. Johannes Kepler refined astronomical theories by demonstrating that planetary orbits were elliptical, not circular, undermining ancient Greek and medieval cosmology. René Descartes, often called the father of modern philosophy, introduced rationalism, arguing that reason and doubt were essential tools for understanding reality, famously declaring, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Meanwhile, Francis Bacon developed the scientific method, emphasizing observation, experimentation, 
and inductive reasoning as the best ways to acquire knowledge. Thomas Aquinas' philosophy, scholasticism, sought to reconcile faith and reason by integrating Aristotelian logic with Christian theology. In his Summa Theologica, he argued that reason supports religious truths, shaping medieval thought and influencing philosophy, law, and education for centuries. The Enlightenment and scientific revolution brought significant transformations in various aspects of society. One major consequence was the decline of religious authority. As rationalism and scientific discoveries weakened the church's absolute power, leading to the rise of secularism and religious tolerance. The movement also inspired the rise of democratic ideals, which fueled revolutionary movements such as the American 1776 and French 1789 revolutions. Additionally, advancements in the scientific method led to breakthroughs in fields like medicine, physics, and astronomy, laying the foundation for the Industrial Revolution. The spread of literacy and education also expanded due to the printing press and the emphasis on knowledge, leading to the development of modern universities. In economics, Adam Smith's ideas on capitalism and free markets challenged mercantilism, fostering economic growth. Finally, Enlightenment principles promoted human rights and social reforms, ultimately shaping modern democratic institutions. Thank you very much.